This is Rock Leach with Social Fire. Bishop J. Drew Sheard, husband of gospel recording artist Karen Clark Sheard, father to gospel recording artist Kiara Kiki Sheard, is setting the internet on fire yet again. He decided to clear the air on what he meant when he spoke in his sermon about Bishop William Murphy. He actually called out his name directly. You don't want to miss this video. I'm going to go ahead and play the clip and then I'll come back with some commentary. Let's go. I'm going somewhere. If you'll just stay with me a few minutes. Um, God has given me you. God has given you me. And so I try to pastor greater Emmanuel, you know, and people put me on social media. I ain't trying to tell people what to do in their churches. I just know what we do in our church. Amen. Now, let me give you a little, let me give you a little uh, background so you'll know. Um, um, I came in church on watch night service and uh, of course it was full and they were um, floating this light around the sanctuary. It was just going around. And, it was, and so I said, I said, what is that? <laughs> and, uh, and nobody really around me, <laughs> nobody could really answer the question. And so I said, uh, cut that thing off. This ain't no nightclub. Okay, that's, that's what I said. And perhaps nobody could say that uh, but the pastor. And I are he. Okay, so, so when I was talking in my message on last Sunday about uh, the church ain't no nightclub, I'm talking about Great Emmanuel. I ain't talking about, I ain't buy, hey, hey, whatever makes your, your, your boat float, you do that. But as for me and my house, <laughs> we do it a certain way. So social media, which is becoming a ve very dangerous instrument, social media may implied that I was going after Bishop William Murphy. That's not true. I call Bishop Murphy, you know, because if I got something to say to you, I'm, you know, I ain't scared of y'all, you know. I call Bishop Murphy, and I just want the, uh, the great Emmanuel to know. I called Bishop William Murphy and told him that I was not coming after him. I said I was preaching my conviction. Now, I'll stand for my conviction, uh, but uh, that's what we do. In, in, in Greater Emmanuel. I was set, I'm the one to set the tone for worship in Greater Emmanuel. And I don't set the tone for what they do in Peachtree Baptist Church. I don't set the tone for what they do in uh, Light Socket International Ministry. <laughs> I set the tone for what we do at Greater Emmanuel. Unfortunately, um, um, some people that uh, don't like me, they will take anything I say and twist it and mess it up. But uh, I want Greater Emmanuel to know when I'm preaching on Sunday, I'm preaching to Greater Emmanuel. Amen. Now, you got to understand, we do have, and I thought about it, I thought about starting to shut the cameras down, but we got such a great virtual church. Amen. And so those persons have tuned in to our ministry. So I'm asking that you'll understand when I'm preaching on Sunday, I'm talking to Greater Emmanuel. Yes, you are who I'm responsible for. Yes, and uh, I'm so sorry that somebody would take something I say and try to twist it like I'm fighting uh, some other preacher. That's not my style. Yeah. And so I just want a greater Emmanuel to know that and for greater Emmanuel to know that um, I f consider myself privileged to be able to pastor you. Amen. Jump down in the comments and let's talk about these words from Bishop J. Drew Sheard. Let's go.